Hey YouTube, Gabriel here, back with another review. This time, as promised, uh, my real honest uh, user review of the Sony Xperia Z1. If you are a subscriber to my channel or uh, you are new to my channel, um, you need to know that uh, I never make reviews uh, if I don't use the, the device uh, for at least uh, 4 to 5 uh, weeks. I already have the Xperia Z1 for about uh, 7 weeks, even more. And uh, because I waited uh, for the KitKat uh, update to, to roll out, I uh, delayed the, the full review. Because I wanted to test the update and uh, I could have a full picture in my head when, uh, when doing the review. Knowing uh, how it works uh, on uh, 4.3, but uh, also on 4.4 KitKat. Uh, if you want to see the full coverage of the KitKat update, uh, you will gonna have in the description of this video um, a link to all my videos. So be sure to check that out. And uh, you'll find there uh, a gaming review, uh, benchmarks, uh, camera samples, video camera samples and uh, so on. Uh, moving on to the Xperia Z1, I have to say that I really like this device. I like its uh, premium construction, its uh, high quality. Um, there are devices and devices. There are um, good devices uh, like uh, the Galaxy line from Samsung, uh, I don't know, uh, Moto, Motorola and so on. And there are premium devices. So uh, in the latter category, uh, we also find uh, the Xperia devices like uh, the Z1. Because of their build quality, design and uh, most of all, uh, the choice of materials and uh, the performance. Uh, this is a premium device because it really is a premium device. Uh, it has a premium price tag. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, one of the main reason. But also, it's absolutely gorgeous. The back uh, side and front uh, side uh, made of glass with uh, the aluminum um, uh, trim around it make it uh, when you hold it in the in the hand makes it uh, scream uh, premium also all the features uh, in the smartphone like the 20.7 megapixel uh, camera g sensor camera g lens camera sorry which uh, you can find on uh, Sony CyberShots camera. Uh, the, the 1080p 5 inch full HD uh, screen, which is absolutely gorgeous. I like it very much. I know there are a lot of people complaining about the viewing angles. I'm not one of them because um, I really like to have my privacy. I really like to be able to to protect my my content on my device from uh, from others so for me the viewing angle uh, problem is a uh, it's an artificial problem it's a uh, it's something that um, i don't really care to be honest it doesn't affect my uh, my judgment about this uh, this beautiful device and uh, as you can see maybe on the camera it doesn't show but uh, it's very detailed, very crisp, very sharp uh, when you look uh, straight on. If you start uh, tilting uh, the display a little bit, uh, you're going to see some um, some little, uh, let's say, uh, color wash out, but uh, nothing dramatic. Uh, Well, what can I say? I honestly don't don't care that much about the viewing angles. So uh, for me, 
it's not important. Maybe for you it is, but for me not. Um, if you need to know um, all the things that uh, came with uh, Android 4.4, uh, 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 you can check uh, my channel to see the videos. I'm not going to talk about those. Uh, I'm just going to focus on the experience, the overall user experience uh, and uh, the feedback that uh, the device uh, gives you back uh, or the satisfaction that uh, you, the, co the consumer, uh, have uh, using uh, this device. Um, let me just turn... Okay. What can I say? The device has a very nice uh, display, has a very good camera. Right now it's running the latest update, the 757 build from uh, KitKat, which uh, has improved uh, the experience. As you already know, the 681 uh, initial KitKat update was a total mess, a disaster. Uh, now things are back to normal. I have no longer any problems and um, I'm happy to, to use my, my device as I used it on uh, 4.3 Jelly Bean. Um, battery life, because it's one of the, more, uh, the most important things in a smartphone. Uh, I'm sorry to, to read on the, on the internet and on uh, forums and so on that a lot of you after uh, the last update, the 757 update, you still have bugs, you still have issues uh, with uh, overheating, with uh, battery drain, with uh, uh, sound and so on. I really feel bad for you. I don't have those problems. I really don't. And uh, just to show you, I took some screenshots today. As you can see, my uh, device was um, up for about uh, 35 hours uh, with uh, Wi-Fi almost all the time on and uh, I got about 5 hours and 10 minutes of screen on time. I have to tell you that uh, I got only 5 hours and 10 minutes because yesterday when I did the gaming review I played uh, for about 50 minutes some uh, very heavy games. If you want to check it out, you can uh, see my gaming review on my channel to see what games I played. So uh, this is the only reason why I have only 5 hours and 10 minutes of screen on time. Um, previously, I had uh, on the um, I had about uh, 6 hours and uh, 45 minutes of uh, screen on time. Which uh, is pretty much on par with uh, what I had on uh, 4.3 Jelly Bean. As you can see, I had Wi Fi almost um, 28 hours running. So, um, what can I say? I like battery life. It's on par with my former LG G2, which for me was the best uh, Android smartphone with uh, the best battery life. Uh, so for me, with my kind of usage, I don't know your usage, but uh, mine is, uh, let's say, moderate to heavy usage. Uh, always checking on uh, my social uh, media accounts, uh, Facebook, Google+, uh, Twitter, uh, uh, Searching the web, uh, watching videos on YouTube, uh, taking uh, pictures, video, calls, texting, and so on. So it's pretty much mother to have usage. And uh, I'm getting these stats and... Uh, what can I say? It's on par with what I had uh, before on the LG G2. So I have no problems, uh, signal reception is very good, uh, I have no problems, uh, no dropped calls. Um, I'm very satisfied in uh, regarding these facts. Um, what can I say? 
No longer uh, I see lag or uh, stuttering in the UI and uh, the overall uh, system slowing down after a couple of minutes of usage like it was on the previous build on uh, 681 everything is very fast it uh, opens fast uh, scrolling through to the app drawer uh, let me just open one app for example google plus you saw it almost instant instantaneously facebook which is a pretty heavy app it always takes some time to to open it once again no problem the only thing that I don't really like, and uh, I didn't like it on uh, 4.3 Jelly Bean, I still don't like it on 4.4, um, it's uh, the RAM management. I find it uh, to be a bit unsatisfying. Um, usually on my G2, I had uh, about uh, one one gig and uh, 100 megs of uh, free ram on the xperia z1 i usually have about uh, 900 uh, megabytes of ram available uh, let's say all the time uh, sometimes even below about uh, 800 to 850 uh, definitely something is running in the background um, i don't know why I'm suspecting that uh, it's the Google Play services, uh, which, to be honest, uh, I really don't uh, care about them. Moving on, uh, in benchmarks, the device, uh, it's okay. I have to be honest and say that on Android uh, 4.3 Jelly Bean, the device uh, had some better results, especially in uh, Quadrant. Again, I took some screenshots. Uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. So, as you can see in Quadrant, uh, it says 19,600 uh, points. And uh, 18,800 uh, points. Uh, usually on a 4.3 Jelly Bean in a Quadrant, I would get uh, at least... 21,000 points but um, I suspect uh, that the app uh, is not optimized for uh, KitKat and furthermore if you watch my videos uh, for me benchmarks are uh, irrelevant uh, they do not show you the um, let's say the, the real strengths of the device in day-by-day uh, -day usage or in normal usage conditions uh, that's why I find them uh, totally useless for me benchmarks and uh, on Antutu benchmark as you can see it tops the Galaxy Note 3 uh, again a bit uh, lower than it was on 4.3 uh, on 4.3 I would uh, get even uh, 36,300 points, now uh, about 35,000. It's slightly above the Note 3, the Xperia Z Ultra, the LG G2 and uh, the S4. But at least uh, you get the idea and uh, you know what uh, to expect from, from the performance. Though, uh, keep in mind that uh, benchmarks are irre irrelevant. Okay, let's move to the camera. This is the 20.7 megapixel uh, G lens camera that uh, Sony has on uh, its Cybershot uh, cameras. And uh, overall, I'm uh, impressed and uh, satisfied with the results. I have some little observations here. On 4.3 Jelly Bean, there was a lot of noise present in the camera. Uh, with the update to KitKat, uh, things have uh, improved. Uh, not by much. Uh, picture quality has definitely improved. 
but there still is some noise present in the pictures especially in pictures taken in uh let's say not uh, not the most um, optimal uh, lighting condi conditions the camera is very fast in taking pictures in uh, focusing and uh, so on so gone are the bugs uh, present in uh, the first iteration of KitKat on the Sony Xperia Z1 As you see, I took the picture without uh, the flashlight and you see the, the noise present in the picture because uh, the light is um, not the best. Still, you, you have uh, lots of details, but uh, the noise uh, can sometimes uh, be anno annoying. Um, Unfortunately, Sony didn't include with uh, the update the features that uh, you get uh, with the Sony Xperia Z2, such as uh, 4K uh, video mode and uh, time shift uh, burst uh, video mode. You can enable them, but uh, for that uh, you need to be rooted and install a custom RAM. Uh, some of you are not. Uh, let's say very eager to, to lose uh, your warranty it's understandable uh, for me I really don't um, care about warranty all the devices that I had uh, I rooted them or uh, jailbroken them and uh, did uh, whatever I wanted uh, with the device and uh, most probably in the near future, uh, I don't know, maybe in about two weeks, uh, I will decide uh, to, to root my device and uh, to install a custom ROM because I really want to test the 4K video mode and the uh, time shift burst uh, video mode. So this picture is taken with the flash and uh, you can see already some improvements. Don't have the same, <clears throat> sorry, the same level of noise. You can still notice it here in the background and here, but uh, overall, uh, it's amazing. If you want to see more camera samples and uh, video samples, you can uh, check my channel as uh, I made uh, a lot of those, and um, I think you really like the results. Uh, overall, my uh, rating for this camera it's uh, very good i really like it uh, taking shots and also in the video mode um, i'm always used to have the best cameras uh, on my devices and uh, up until now uh, in uh, the android realm and uh, from all the devices that i owned uh, running android this certainly is the the best in the camera department by far it, it uh, exceeds the Galaxy S4, the Note 3 or uh, the LG G2 though the LG G2 is a, it's a pretty pretty good uh, device also in the camera still it has only a 13 megapixel camera but it does a very very good job in uh, normal conditions uh, and also in uh, poor, uh, poor light conditions Still, the Xperia Z1, uh, it's also very good in uh, low light uh, shots. Uh, you have some uh, shots taken uh, with the Xperia Z1 at night. You can check them on my channel also. And I think uh, that you are gonna be impressed with uh, the results that uh, I got from, uh, from the Xperia Z1. Shots uh, that were taken in uh, manual mode with no adjustments. Uh, and also in superior auto mode, uh, same, no, uh, no adjustments uh, because uh, when I take pictures I don't like to, to tinker with uh, the settings too much
What else there is to say? Um, <clears throat> uh, my only problems with uh, this device, besides those uh, with the initial update uh, to KitKat, uh, my only problems with uh, this device uh, actually is Android. I know it sounds uh, curious, but uh, after using Android for a couple of years right now, uh, I had all the Galaxy S line uh, before, uh, HTC's, uh, LG's, you name it. Everything that was out on the market, I, I had it. And um, unfortunately, Android, it's uh, kind of starting uh, to get on my nerves. Uh, I'm sick of tired with all the bugs, with uh, all the crashes, the lags and so on. I just hope that uh, the rumors are, uh, are true and uh, Sony will uh, finally release this year, uh, maybe in the second uh, quarter, we release a Windows Phone device. Uh, I own previously a Windows Phone uh, smartphone, actually not just one, but uh, one in particular uh, I enjoyed very, very much was the Lumia 920. And uh, though the Windows Phone uh, OS is still uh, at its beginning, let's say, uh, it's far more stable, a lot. I consider it to be the most stable OS, mobile OS on the market right now. It's light years ahead, uh, Android, and uh, I'm not even mentioning iOS. The same problems that I encountered on uh, Android, I encountered with uh, iOS. So if anyone out there is telling me that iOS it's uh, perfect, it's smooth, uh, has no lag, has no crashes, no bugs, I think he needs to 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 go and uh, make a check because uh, it's not true. You can see my videos regarding my experiences with Apple products, and uh, trust me, I was not satisfied. So my main gripes with uh, this smartphone in particular right now are coming from uh, KitKat itself, uh, from Google. Uh, a lot of you in the comments on my videos uh, complained about issues and so on and so on. You need to understand one thing. And I'm going to say it again. Uh, if you want honesty, I'm gonna give you honesty. It was not Sony's blame with uh, the initial 681 update to KitKat. It was Google's fault with all the bugs, the camera bug, the overheating, the battery drain, uh, even the nasty, annoying, irritating sound bug. The same sound bug present on the Xperia Z1 on the 681 uh, KitKat uh, update is present in the HTC One, but in a different form. And what I mean by this is that in the HTC One, if you on the record. HTC One, if you want to record a video, only the left channel will record the audio, and uh, the right channel uh, won't do anything. So your video, instead of recording the stereo sound we record the uh, mono sound. So, uh, Sony didn't screw up with KitKat. Google screwed up everyone, including Sony, including HTC, including Samsung, uh, because the same bugs, nasty bugs from KitKat, I found them present on HTC devices, on uh, Samsung devices, and it's not normal. My gripes are only in the software department with, uh, with this amazing device. This is an amazing device. 
I really like it, uh, all the features, uh, you can uh, film and take shots uh, underwater for one hour at uh, one meter and a half depth. It's, uh, it's something that uh, not too many devices uh, nowadays can, uh, can make. Sony actually, let's say, uh, put this on the market and uh, promoted it uh, globally because uh, before them uh, it was sharp with uh, their Aquos uh, lineup of smartphones. But uh, those are only sold in uh, Japan. You can't uh, find them in Europe, for example, or in North America or uh, South America and so on. So to have those fe uh, features in uh, this package, it's, uh, it's excellent. It's quality, it's premium quality. Metal with glass. It's absolutely amazing when you take out this device everybody turns around and uh, and looks it's uh, it's nice to have something like this i only hope that sony really really wants to to make some uh, windows phone smartphones because as i said i'm i'm starting to to feel cheated by by google and their so-called uh, OS If uh, I would recommend this device knowing that the Xperia Z2 is coming out well depends on um, what you want uh, or better uh, to better put the problem is would I upgrade from this to the Xperia Z2 to be really honest, I would not. Why? Because I feel that the Xperia Z2 is uh, the same as the other uh, flagship devices from other OEMs that uh, came out uh, on the market right now. It's just an incremental update. So, uh, for me to, to pay uh, 700 euros on the Xperia Z2 only to have uh, 4K video and time shift burst video mode and uh, for the very very slightly increased uh, display size and uh, battery uh, it's not worth it honestly uh, this device here is more than capable in shooting uh, 4K video uh, and do whatever you want uh, it's just a matter if you want to root your device and lose your warranty. As I said, I don't care about warranty, so uh, most probably in the near uh, days or in the future two weeks, I'm going to root my device and install the Castle RAM, with, uh, which allows me to shoot in 4K and a lot of uh, modifications to, to the device. Uh, the sound, because uh, I haven't said anything about the sound. Uh, after the last update, you know that uh, I said in my video regarding the 757 update, that to me it seems that uh, the sound coming from the last speaker is better, it's improved, it's louder, it's crisper and so on. And uh, I can honestly say that uh, I wasn't wrong. It certainly is so. I'm just gonna make a show de uh, sh short demo.
as you heard guys it's very good I have no complaints in the sound department uh, especially not in the um, when I'm listening to music with my um, headphones let's go to YouTube to watch a short video and I'm gonna pick a video of mine hello YouTube Gabriel here welcome to a new video this time I'm gonna show you how to downgrade from uh, Android uh, 4.4 KitKat on the Sony Xperia Z1 so as, a, as you can hear the sound is very strong, very loud it's crisp it's a lot better that in, uh, that it was uh, than it was on a uh, 4.3 jelly bean and uh, it actually improved after the 757 update uh, what else there is to say well not uh, not much uh, if you want to see how it uh, um, behaves in gaming in uh, synthetic benchmarks uh, camera samples video sample and uh, so on there are separate videos that i made on my channel um, you can check them out and uh, if you are uh, in search for a very good smartphone uh, i highly recommend this device this is the 4G model which I have the C6903 the European model and uh, if I was to rate this device uh, though I'm not a rating guy uh, like other um, reviewers who rate devices oh I'm gonna give a 7 out of 10 because uh, I don't know something if I would have to rate a device, I would rate it based on uh, overall uh, user experience, user satis uh, satisfaction, uh, features, quality from the device, uh, both in construction and in software, and I would rate them by uh, free standards. Uh, or good and excellent if i were to to rate this one here the sony xperia z1 i would most certainly rate it excellent yes there were some problems with uh, the initial kitkat update but as i said it wasn't sony's fault uh, those of you who are bitter uh, about that update and uh, still blame Sony uh, please do a little research uh, on the internet and you'll find that uh, the problems were, were present to, uh, with all the other manufacturers who, who got uh, the 4.4 KitKat update from uh, Google uh, on my uh, Android devices uh, I would uh, on my Android devices list I would put this device uh, the same place with the LG G2 which uh, in my opinion was uh, the best Android device that I owned ever that's my honest opinion you can see my, my review about the G2 on my channel and uh, I would put uh, the Sony Xperia Z1 uh, at the same side with uh, the G2 battery life is comparable between the the two devices it's the same actually with uh, my usage uh, because i know what uh, what i got from the g2 it's the same with uh, the z1 uh, quality it's a definitely win for the for the sony xperia z1 without uh, without a sweat it's light years ahead of the g2 g2 is made of plastic I hate plastic. I'm sick of tired of plastic phones. 
with all the squeaking, the squeaking and so on. So definitely a win for the Xperia Z1. Uh, camera wise, I love the G2 camera, but uh, this one here, it's indeed a beast. Not comparable with uh, the Lumia devices, flagships like the 1020 or the 1520, but close behind, very, very, very close. So no problems here. Uh, battery life okay, I said it, and furthermore, uh, you get a micro SD card slot, which is very important for me at least, who takes a lot of pictures and uh, videos, uh, outdoors, indoors, so on. Uh, to have a micro SD card slot is very important. I never thought uh, that I would miss a uh, micro SD card, but uh, I started missing it on uh, the G2 and on uh, iPhone 5. Uh, as I said, I highly recommend this smartphone to anyone who's looking uh, in purchasing a new device now that uh, Easter is coming. Uh, the price on the Z1 is still uh, pretty high, at least here where I live in Romania, for example, Orange, it's uh, selling the Z1 for uh, 689 euros. And uh, the pre-orders on the Z2 are uh, about uh, 700 uh, euros for the retail price, I'm not sure, I might, uh, might be confusing the, the Z2 prices. Uh, the price is high, but uh, it deserves the money that uh, they are asking for. I don't usually say this, but uh, when I when I have a device that satisfies me my needs and offers me premium quality, because uh, that's the most important premium quality, both in hardware and in software, uh, then uh, that, uh, that uh, device uh, deserves the money they, um, the producer, um, the manufacturer asks for. Um, what can I say? Um, as I promised, uh, I won't bore you with uh, technical info. You can find that on the internet, just do a simple Google search uh, and you're gonna have everything. Uh, my reviews are based on uh, the user experience, uh, the good things, the bad things. Uh, unfortunately, this device has only one weak uh, thing or bad thing and uh, for me it's the software. I'm sorry Google, I'm sorry Android, fans but uh, I'm using Android for more than four years and uh, I just got tired the hardware it's always on top but the software is always behind that's why I hope they they will make a Windows phone this year uh, because uh, Microsoft uh, it's exactly the opposite to, to Google. They first uh, implement the software and then come from behind with the hardware. And that's why on uh, the latest iteration from uh, Microsoft, the Windows Phone 8.1, uh, it's able to run on a device like uh, the Lumia 520. Imagine 4.4 running on a device like Lumia 520. Do you think it's capable? I really don't think so. With the specs that the device has, I really don't think so. So uh, my main problem and concern is with Android. If uh, KitKat is the big improvement they promised us, then I'm sorry to say, uh, I'm sorry to tell you guys, but uh, we got screwed. And uh, I don't like it. Okay, guys, enough, uh, enough with this. I, I think I bored you too much. Uh, in the end, all that matters is, uh, <laughs> like uh, Linkin Park said, in the end, all that matters is uh, 
that you are satisfied, you are happy with your device. As I said, I highly recommend this device. I consider it an excellent, excellent purchase. You won't regret it. And um, if you want to see the full coverage with the KitKat, uh, or you are interested in downgrading, uh, downgrading for uh, from uh, 4.4 to 4.3. As I said at the beginning of this video, I'm gonna put uh, on the description uh, of this video a link uh, with uh, all my videos. So be sure to check uh, check that link. And uh, if you like the video, please hit the like button. Please share the video, and also subscribe to my channel. And furthermore, please don't hesitate. To contact me and to ask me questions and uh, to ask me to help you if you have issues and so on because I really like to 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 help you and I really like my channel to be more like a, I don't know how to say it like a blog where uh, you ask me I respond you need my help I help you or at least I try to help you because um, this is what I want from my channel to be very open to to change information uh, be between us and uh, between between uh, yourselves the the um, the audience and uh, so on once again thank you for watching this video it's been a long video um, Again, hope you enjoyed it. For my Romanian audience, uh, I want to say something. Uh, this review will be made available also in Romanian. Uh, most probably tomorrow, I will make uh, the Romanian version. Um, and uh, starting from today with this uh, review uh, on my channel, when I make uh, phone reviews, I'm gonna make them in English and in Romanian. Uh, so uh, my international audience uh, and my uh, home audience uh, has uh, has uh, the option to to watch it and listen to what I'm rambling in uh, the same uh, on their language. Uh, as always, guys, be good, be safe. Leave your comments in the comment section and uh, I hope to see you in the next video. Most probably next week, I don't know, when I decide to, to root my device and uh, install a custom RAM so uh, I can show you how to do it and uh, what to install and uh, what to, to expect from it. Okay, signing out, your friend Gabriel here, wish you a nice weekend, bye.